Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I'm so excited that you're joining me tonight. I have some really fun projects to share with you using the new Rain or Shine Suite. I'm featuring the Playing in the Rain stamp set and bundle, but more so I'm featuring the designer paper, Rain or Shine. And I'm sharing with you the projects in my January 2023 bonus project kit. This is something that you can get when you shop with me and order $40 or more before tax and shipping. I send out these kits every month, so each month it's a different kit and this kit for January is going out in the mail early next week so be sure to watch for that actually I think it might be next Wednesday so more midweek next week so watch for that in your mailbox um, I'm so excited with the way these projects turned out so this is the rain or shine paper it is a 12 by 12 designer paper and I've included a 4 by 6 sample um, for part of the free gift in the January kit. So every month I always include three uh, pre-cut projects. So you're gonna get some, um, some project pieces, some card bases, some um, pre-punched pieces, and then some uh, free gift. And so this month it's a sample of the Rain or Shine paper and the Silver and Clear Epoxy Essentials. These are actually a retired embellishment, um, but I picked them up, I think when they were on the last chance list because they have little raindrops and I thought that would be so much fun. So sometimes you get a half a package of current embellishments. If, I, if it's uh, an older one, sometimes I'll give you a whole package, uh, but every month you get a free gift inside of the kit. And usually I try to incorporate it into the cards that we're making. There's also a special project page um, that has details about the projects, including measurements and photos, additional projects, and a link to the bonus tutorials. So every month you'll get a different bonus PDF that includes extra card ideas using the same suite. So this month it is the rain or shine project sheets. I should say in January. So I need to get better about doing this ahead so you can see um, so you can see what you're getting. Every month there is a different kit. So if you order right now in February, you'll be getting a different kit at the beginning of March. And I am really trying to get ahead um, and show that to you before the end of the month, my New Year's resolution. So far, mm, <laughs> I'm not doing so great. But I know that whether or not you ordered from me, you are gonna love the project ideas that I have to share for you. So in today's video, I am going to make three cards using the Raider Shine Designer Paper. Um, and I have some bonus projects to share with you, um, just some extra ideas. So I hope that you are inspired. Leave a comment, let me know, what do you think about the Rain or Shine Suite? I should open up the catalog and show you. It is in the January through April 2023 um, mini catalog. And Rain or Shine is on page 50 and 51 here in the catalog. Oh my gosh, this one is so much fun. You know, I always, I am a fan of cute critters, <laughs> um, especially when they have dyes that coordinate with the designer paper, so I don't have to do the coloring. <laughs> um, but I think these are great for kids of all ages. I feel like I say that all the time, if you watch my channel, <laughs> kids of all ages, because I'm a kid. I'm a kid, um, even though I'm I won't say how old I am, <laughs> uh, but I, I I would love to get a card um, using these products. I just think they're so cute. So we got a turtle, a fox, a rabbit, a 12 by 12 paper, a raindrop embossing folder, which I did incorporate into two of the projects and some of the loose daisy embellishments that are super fun. Um, so you can get this in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop and I will show you. It's celebration time. You can get a free free gift when you order $50 or more. And so these these gifts started in January, some designer papers, some stamp sets, and to yesterday, we have some more reasons to celebrate because Stampin' Up! added some new options that you can get for free with a $50 order or a $100 order. I'll link to the flyer in the video description, so be sure to check that out. Um, I'm most excited about the Essential Tag Punch. I use that one all the time. And also the Kindness Card Kit and the Let's Party Treat Packaging. 
I think those are so much fun. Both of those include stamp sets in the kit. So even if you just use the stamps afterwards, I think it's really fun. I don't have the kindness card kit, um, but it has kind of been on my radar. So I'm really excited. I just placed an order um, yesterday so that I could get that for free. And I stocked up on like cardstock and envelopes. I'm always running out of envelopes and um, some extra adhesive because I seem to run through that. And all of a sudden I'll look in my box and I'll realize I'm on my last one and so celebration is a great time to stock up on all those kinds of things and then you get some freebies on top of it so all of these gifts are options when you have a qualifying order of 50 or a hundred dollars and you can shop in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop use host code v249 z e q2 for february orders and um and that ties all the orders together and allows me to use the host rewards or the Stampin' Rewards to get the things that I send you for a gift. So it all comes back to you um, when you use the host code. If your order is over $150, don't use the host code. You can keep the extra Stampin' Rewards yourself and you'll still get the same perks um, of shopping with me. Oh my gosh, you guys, Celebration has been amazing. And one of the most amazing things about Celebration is the join offer. When you join the Stampin' Up! family as a demonstrator during Celebration, you get an extra $50 in your starter kit. So that means you get this much for that much plus tax and shipping is free. It's crazy. I had 15 people join the Jubilant Stampers family um, and it was kind of crazy. I'm so excited to welcome all of them to my team and um, I hope that if you've been on the fence, if you've been thinking about it, that you will take advantage of this amazing offer because in addition to the extra $50 of your choice, you also have the option to get the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine for only $30 more. You can choose blue or white, or you can just forget it if you don't want it at all. And you can just have the $50. Either way, you get the extra $50 um, for free. So so exciting. I hope that you will think about joining all of the links in the video description to all the information. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, wherever you see my phone number posted, you can feel free to, um, to text me if you have questions or call me. Um, sometimes things are crazy and I might have to call you back, but I'm um, always happy to answer any questions that you may have. Today we're making projects using Playing in the Rain, so give me a thumbs up if you um, enjoy Thursday night videos. And I have to tell you, I should have started with this. I'm actually not live tonight. It's date night, and my hubby got some tickets to go see a comedian, a comedy show, and so unfortunately the time conflicted with my live video. So this is pre-recorded and I hope that you are all having a lively chat um, in the comments. So leave me a comment. I will be sure to read them over um, when I get home later on. <laughs> if you're watching the replay, you can leave a comment on the video. Hashtag replay. Let me know how you're doing, what you're doing today. Um, and when was the last time you went out to a concert or a comedy show? Um, it's been a while since we've had like a true date night, so I'm really excited um, to be getting out. And I'm so sorry that I'm not live with you all, but um, I wanted to make sure you still had something to watch tonight, a little entertainment. So let's dig in to these projects. Now you can make these cards even without the playing in the rain bundle. I am going to use some of the images like the raindrops and some of the sentiments, but if you don't have the, the, the bundle, the stamp set, you can easily substitute other greetings that you have at home um, and other images like you might have raindrops from something else or you can just leave them off entirely. I tried to design the cards so that um, they do work for people who have you know any all, all different kinds of collections <laughs> um, at home. So even if you don't have this bundle, you'll still be able to make the project. So let's get started with this pink card. And um, this is Flirty Flamingo. I've got all the pieces you need in here. So we've got some white, um, some, some white layers. I have a large um, stitch circle from the Stylish Shapes. I love that set and it's driving me crazy. It's still not available, I think. Um, every time I look at the inventory report, I feel like it pushes back just a little bit. It's so popular. So if you don't have it yet, um, just keep watching. I promise. <laughs> I promise it's coming back soon. Um, so we are going to use the designer paper, um, on this project. And so 
you'll need to cut into that free gift um, to create your project. So for this card, we're going to use the lighter raindrops. There's dark raindrops and there's light raindrops. We're gonna use the lighter raindrops. And then we also need to cut out one of the images from, um, from the paper. So we've got two different sheets that have images. One of them, the characters are bigger and one of them, the characters are a little bit smaller. And depending on how the paper is cut for you, you, um, you should have at least one character that you can cut out completely. Um, and so for me, it looks like it's going to be the turtle and the turtle, but it might be the dog or it might be the pig for you or the bunny or the fox. So whichever one you have, you can cut that out. And I did... I did do that a little bit ahead of time. So <laughs> I cut out my turtle. This one does have a coordinating die. So if you have the bundle, all of the bigger images on this sheet have a coordinating die and these do not. So these need to be fussy cut, but I just did all the fussy cutting today. Um, both of the other images, the bunny and the fox include pink. And so I really hesitated on the card base color to use, but I did decide to go with the flirty flamingo. And because our... Um, our turtle doesn't have any pink or flirty flamingo. I cut out some extra images to bring in some of that pink color. So I just cut those out from, um, from the surrounding area. So you can also cut out and bring in like an umbrella if you want or, um, or stamp some flowers in pink or something, um, something along those lines. All right, we're going to get out our paper trimmer and we're going to cut this, um, this large piece and we're gonna cut it at four and a half inches. And then we're going to take that and turn it and we're going to cut every inch. So we're looking for three one by four and a half pieces of designer paper. And we will have by default four because it was a four inch wide piece of designer paper. So we're going to use three of them for the front and we're going to use one of them for the back side. So let's move some of these pieces over and let's start gluing our card together. You have two white pieces. One of them is four by five and a quarter to go on the inside. And the smaller one is, I should know this. <laughs> it is three and a half by four and three quarter inches. And so this smaller one is going to be on the front. So we're gonna take three of our raindrop pieces and those are going to go on the front and the other one we're going to take and we're going to turn it over so we've got that fun color i love that this paper has like pops of color on one side that i just think is so much fun and those colors are flirty flamingo and mango melody both of them are in the brights color family so this is going to go across the bottom and then i'll just take my scissors and just trim that down so that's on the inside for the front. We're going to start by gluing down the, um, the sides first, and then we can add the middle one and we can just center the middle one so that it's spaced evenly between the two outer strips of designer paper. So I'm just trying to go about an even amount from top to bottom. And then same thing on the other side, just trying to evenly space. And then I'll come back and add this one right in the center with an even spacing between the other pieces. Perfect. This is going to go in the center of our card front. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. I suppose you could use Stampin' Dimensionals to add that layer, but I just put it on with some regular adhesive. Then I have my large circle, which is going to go right in the middle. And I'm gonna add the flowers with regular adhesive. And, oh, I just thought of another thing. Um, instead of cutting out flowers, or if you don't have flower images that are complete to cut, you could also just use um, a piece of the paper that's left over, like a little pink and you can just add like a little strip behind the um, behind the turtle. <laughs> like, what is that thing? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna add the turtle with stamp and dimensionals, and then we're going to add our sentiments. And so we've tied in that pink color. I love how that turned out. Uh, so we have. Um, 
an inside piece and an outside piece. Again, I'm using stamps from the stamp set. I'm gonna use Oh Happy Day. And then on the inside, I'm going to do Rainy Days Are Better With Friends. And this is going to be, actually it says Rainy Days Are Better With You. Aw. That's so true, isn't it? Rainy Days Are Always Better With a Friend. This is so tight, but it works. <laughs> and I apologize, you do have two sides if you don't stamp so successfully. But for this card, I'm going to fussy cut around the image. So it doesn't matter if it's straight because if you cut it out, then um, it, it doesn't matter because you'll cut away, <laughs> you'll cut away the crooked. Oh no, do you see this? It must be the lotion on my hands. I tried to wipe it off, but I am smearing the ink. Oh, that is, that is sad. So I'm probably going to redo that later. And you can't really tell. Um, I could tell because I put my finger in it. Um, so this is going to go onto the card with some Stampin' Dimensionals. And then the whole circle is going to go on with some Stampin' Dimensionals as well. I love Stampin' Dimensionals, especially when you have layers that you're sticking together. I think it's fun just to add a little dimension, a little, a little bit of um, pop to the card. Okay, so this is going to go on here, and then this is going to go on the inside. Oh, I love that. Always love to add a little pop of color, a little something on the inside, and then our Oh Happy Day. And then we can use our embellishments. Where did they go? We can use our embellishments to, um, to add some bling to our card. I'm gonna wait until I redo the sentiment. Let me show you my sample. I used the bunny um for this card so depending on the image that you have in your designer paper and for the bunny i had the opposite problem i had some pink but i didn't have any of the mango melody and so to bring in the mango melody i cut an umbrella that had that um, color in it to add behind the bunny to kind of tie in the color so feel free to mix and match these images and then i added some raindrops um to to the background here did the inside exactly the same way so you might have the turtle you might have the bunny you might have um the the cute little fox um i hope that whichever image that you like this card i really love this layout in fact this layout is one of our back pocket card layouts this is something new that i'm doing in 2023 and i am so excited about it when you place an order with me of any size you will get a back pocket card layout there's a new card every month and it has a layout with measurements and two card ideas and so over the course of the year you'll be able to collect your cards i offered four of these as part of my million dollar um party that we did so you might have a ring started already um, with four cards already on it and so you can add to your collection um, and there'll be a new one every single month so in order to get your back pocket card layout card you can place an order with me at juliedavison.com shop and any size order will get um, a back pocket card layout. So in order to get the kit, you need to place a $40 order. Uh, but if you order even less than that, you'll still get one of these in your thank you card. So my samples here, I did the wreath and then you might recognize <laughs> I did this one and it inspired the card layouts. For, so for this one, I used the embossing folder and did a technique with the enamel um, paint. And for this one, I decided to use the designer paper. Here I die cut the entire um, circle from the designer paper. And here I just did the image. Oh my gosh, this layout is so much fun. And these are layouts I hope that you will turn to again and again, no matter what designer paper you're using, stamp sets you're using. Um, it's such a great way to have some inspiration. Now, if you're a team member, if you're part of the Jubilant Stampers family of demonstrators, you can get these cards for free when you meet your quarterly minimum. Every quarter, you'll get all three cards in the mail from me. 
automatically. So I love it. I'm so excited to be able to offer this resource to all of you this year in 2023. And hopefully it goes well and we'll continue to do it um, in 2024 and beyond. All right, that was our first project. I love the way this turned out. And um, our next project, <laughs> I don't have as much enthusiasm for. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that, but uh, I really, I was kind of struggling. I like the way ultimately that it turned out, but I, I was struggling, I won't lie. Um, so this next card has a crumb cake card base. And um, I did a little embossing ahead with the raindrops embossing folder. And this piece is two inches by five inches. And I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut and add an angle to one end of this. So this is going to go um, down the card here. I got a white piece for the inside, four inches by five and a quarter, a little strip, four and a quarter by three eighths inch, and a little die cut circle. It's about one and three quarters. Um, and for this one, we are going to feature the umbrella images. So we're going to cut those out and we're also going to use this pink pattern. So the dark raindrops on the back of that, we're going to cut a little piece um, of this one. It's sort of like not really a flowery pattern, uh, but kind of it has those, um, those loops. So we're going to cut this piece. This is four inches across. So we're going to turn it so the long side is at the top and we're going to cut at two and a quarter um, just to cut a little piece for our card. So you, you will still have a leftover piece if you want to use those raindrops for something else or you can use the paint for something else. Okay. So this is how the card is gonna kind, kind of come together. We're going to um, layer the raindrops first and the designer paper over it, and we're going to cut some of the umbrellas. And I have done that for you ahead of time. <laughs> um, I cut three of them. Um, so I cut uh, one of each color, the green and the pink and the blue. And so those are gonna go on the card in um, a little row. I, I love I just love the pops of color. So I've introduced all of the colors um, in other ways as well. Whenever I'm using color on a card, I try to bring it in and use it more than once. So we've got each color umbrella and then we've got each color in cardstock or designer paper. Um, I'm trying to remember what I did on the inside. Oh, that was really cute. Oh, the stamp set that we're using for this is one of the celebration gift options called Sending Support. I thought that raindrops and rainy day um, really went well with the Sending Support stamp set because the Sending Support stamp set, all the sentiments are about being supportive and being there. Um, some days are harder than others. Hope today is one of the easier ones. Sending loving thoughts and prayers it's okay to not to feel okay. You've got this. My shoulder is yours. There are so many ways you might feel right now and alone shouldn't be one of them. So I hope that you will pick this stamp set for free with your celebration order. It is so much fun and a great way um, to build your collection of sentiments to send encouraging cards to friends and family. I'm trying to find my little celebration book. Oh, it's right behind me. <laughs> here it is in the booklet. Um, it is on page nine. And so there are a few samples in here. Um, and I, I didn't pull any of my swaps just because I feel like these sentiments can be used with any designer paper, any stamp set. So it's not necessarily something that you have to have, you know, something else to go with it. So sending support, really great option. You can get that for free with a $50 order during celebration in my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop until February 28th, 2023. Um, so we're going to use some of the sentiments on today's card um, because I really thought with the raindrops and the umbrellas that um, this would be a good one to have more encouraging words because the, the words in this set are more playful. Um, we've got the happy day. Um, rainy days are better with you, but everybody's happy. <laughs> everybody's happy to be playing in the rain. And so um, I thought some of these images did lend themselves to uh, maybe cards for people who aren't feeling so um, sunny and happy. So um, we're going to use some of the Memento Black ink. And um, on the front of the card, I suppose I should glue everything down first, but you know what? I'm just going to wing it. Sometimes, well, I do like to stamp first because if I mess up before I glue things down, I can move pieces around and cover up the mistake. <laughs> uh, but so um, it's always it's always good to 
stamp first before you glue things down. The other thing I like to do is to stamp on, um, feeling nervous, <laughs> to stamp on scrap paper. Ooh, that one, that turned out okay. <laughs> and then um, in the inside, I've got, um, some days are harder than others. And this is going to go right in the center. And underneath that, Hope Today is one of the easier ones. Oh, that's good. Who do you know who's going through a hard time right now? Who would you send this card of support to? It is such a dreary time as we um, are trying to get through winter, you know, to get to spring. Today is Groundhog's Day here in the United States and um, <laughs> the groundhog sees the shadow or not. And so then we have uh, six more weeks of winter or six weeks until spring. Either way, it works out the same, right? It's always six weeks. <laughs> uh, but are we going to have more winter or are we going to have more springy weather? And I actually don't remember... I, I think he saw, didn't see a shadow. So there's six more weeks of winter. I can't remember. If you know, leave a, <laughs> leave a comment. Um, straighten me out here. I don't, I don't remember all my groundhog. Um, <laughs> I'm not up on all of that. I forgot. Um, I have some other images that I have um, cut from paper. And so if you want to, you could add um, you could add another image to the corner here, um, or you could leave it blank, or you could add like a little strip of, um, of designer paper. I think I'll go ahead and put this umbrella down. It's cute. And um, it ties in some of that green again. And so now we just got to do some gluing here. So we're going to start with that piece of balmy blue. And that's going to go in the quarter. I'm just kind of doing an even border along the top and the sides. And then we're going to add the designer paper across the top. And this is four inches, so it's not going to go all the way to the sides, which is fine. I just wanted to point that out in case you feel like you cut it wrong. You did not. It's four inches across and, um, and it won't quite meet the edges. And then the green, um, the green one, the old olive piece is four and a quarter, so it will go all the way across. Then we're going to use some regular adhesive to add the umbrellas to the circle. And we will add the circle with some Stampin' Dimensionals. So I've got the outer umbrellas are going straight up with the handles at the top. And then we're just gonna reverse and do the pink one in the opposite direction like that. I love how even though this is sort of like a supportive card, it also just has some bright, fun colors that I think will cheer anybody up. So that's going to go, I'm kind of trying to center it um, so that it is centered on the pink from top to bottom, but also um, centered sideways between um, the edges of the blue banner. So right there on the side. And then this is going to go on the inside. My other sample is almost exactly the same, except I had an extra piece and I added a little piggy on the inside. <laughs> I love the way that little piggy looks. I don't know. Don't you think? Should we add some in? Um, should we add some embellishments to this card? Um, I kind of feel like it could use some of the embellishments. Let's take a look. This um, this package, the silver and clear epoxy essentials, has raindrops. I was telling you in clear and silver, and then there's like a little kind of diamond shape, and then a larger circle. Um, and so for this one, I feel like I would want to use maybe the diamond shape. Um, although you could use some raindrops. I use the raindrops on some of the other cards. Um, <laughs> these I find are so slippery. So I'm going to use the take your pick tool and see if I can have better control over these embellishments. If you don't have a take your pick tool, it's a great time to get one. It has a putty end, which works really well if you are using it with um, loose embellishments like the loose daisies that go with this suite. 
Um, and it also has some other ends like this flat tip and a pointy tip. And you can also get an attachment to, um, to use it with a die brush that will help you get little detailed pieces out of your dies when you die cut them. So whichever end you're most comfortable using, it's just helpful to, to use the take your pick tool to help you get, get things positioned and placed where you want them to go. I think this is where I struggle with this, um, <laughs> this card is I'm not sure where exactly to put those embellishments. And do you guys struggle with that too? It's not just me, right? Like knowing where to put them and <laughs> constantly rearranging them. Um, at some point, the more you lift it up, the less sticky it gets. Well, I always like to do threes and usually trying to do them around the focal image is a good plan. So I'm not sure, leave a comment, let me know. Do you like it better? with or without the embellishments. <laughs> with or without, this or that, leave a comment and let me know which side, which one you prefer. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards without. Um, I think we've got a lot of texture with the raindrops and the stitching and then the designs. And so I, I feel like it doesn't necessarily need, it doesn't necessarily need those extra, um, those extra embellishments. Well, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's move on to our last card. Oh, this one is so much fun. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. And um, it was the first or the second card I designed for the kit. And um, I, I have to laugh because I have had some extra pieces for a year. I've had like a whole bag of these Bermuda Bay circles and these clouds punched out that were left over from the rainbow kit, the rainbow happiness kit that I did last year. And the, um, the circle wasn't embossed with raindrops. It was just a plain Bermuda Bay circle. And it was left out from a window that I cut for this card. And I ha I've had 90 of these circles that have just been sitting in my stamp room. And I'm like, I've got to use them. I've got to come up with something. And, and I just haven't for like a year. And so I'm so happy that I finally used them. Do you guys have bags of things like that? Little extra pieces? Pieces that you're you want to use for something well Bermuda Bay isn't in the, it's not a color that's part of this um designer paper but I thought that it coordinated well enough that we could get away with using it on this card so I did bring in some of the other papers or the other colors so we've got mango melody we've got some um old olive this is the decorative circle punch and then a two inch circle punch to layer on top of that we've got our Bermuda Bay circle this is about a three inch circle and it was die cut using the layering circle framelets not framelets dies <laughs> and then I have two clouds and this is just the cloud punch that we have. So we're going to use one of them to stamp the sentiment and then the other one is just going to be a cloud. The other thing we need for this um, is a little piece of paper and so last month I forgot but this month I remembered to include the designer paper cutting measurements on the um, on the, the printout paper. So sorry that I forgot last time. I'm trying to trying to be better about remembering that. So for this one we're going to use the Mango Melody Checkered and we're going to cut this at two inches. So with the long side at the top, we're gonna to cut two inches off and we're going to use that um, for the bottom of the paper. Now this was a really tricky pattern to include. Um, some of you will have um, a blue sky and some of you will have the fun flower pattern that is at the bottom of the page because this page is, um, it's a big 12 by 12 and it's got the, the all across the top is blue and then all across the bottom is flowers and um, it's such a fun paper pattern but I knew that you guys wouldn't have the same pattern so we're using the other side of it for this card. Uh, for this card we're going to use one of the images from the smaller characters. So this is the larger character sheet. 
This is the smaller character sheet, and you might have a different one than me, but you should have one character that you can cut out completely that's completely in your range. So for me, it's the turtle, and I have cut him. Apparently, the other sheet I was using, he's facing the other way, so <laughs> either way, um, it works. You can also use the pig, and you can use the dog as well for this card. Um, so we're going to start with just some building, building our layers. So we're going to add this piece of Mango Melody cardstock. This is... Um, three, hmm, I think it's three and a half. Nope, yeah, three and a half by four and three quarters. And the card base is thick basic white. So you wanna use thick basic white when you're doing white as your card base because it just is a little sturdier and um, just holds up a little better as a card base. It's not so flimsy. So um, thick white is, is good for your card bases. We're going to add the designer paper across the bottom, leaving about a half inch or so of that white showing. And again, I want to point out that um, your designer paper is only four inches, so it will not go all the way across. You will have some edges um, showing on either side of the um, designer paper. Then we're going to add our um, our Bermuda base circle and I embossed this for you using the raindrops embossing folder. We're going to add that over here. We're going to layer the white circle onto the decorative the decorative um, old olive and we're going to add our little character um, with Stampin' Dimensionals. I just love cutting images from the designer paper. And I love that Stampin' Up! is doing that more and more. Whether it coordinates with dyes or whether it is fussy cut, it's so great to have images that are um, colored and cute and ready to go. We have one um, cloud that's going to go down here and then we're gonna put the sentiment on with the other cloud. And so for this card, we're going to use that one from the stamps that rainy days are better with you. And so this is going to go over here on the cloud. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I think this sentiment was made for the cloud punch. This is all gonna go on now. We're gonna do this cloud with some regular adhesive. And then the other two items we're gonna put on with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. So we're gonna add this here, and then let's get our Stampin' Dimensionals on. Two for the cloud, three for the circle. I think this one might be my favorite of the three cards. And really, I think it's just because of the fun colors. Like I said, even though there's not any of the Bermuda Bay in the designer paper, I think it goes really well with the old olive and the mango melody. And so it's a fun addition to this card and to this paper set to incorporate that color. Just trying to balance. So the idea here, I know we always say threes. I've got two clouds, but we've got three kind of elements. And so we kind of come down um, the, the paper and we have sort of like um, some movement across our card. This one definitely needs some embellishments to round everything out. So we're going to use the silver raindrops and I'm going to add, going to add them over here on the Bermuda Bay circle, and that's just gonna kind of bring out that embossed, the embossed raindrops and finish out the card. Oh my gosh, do you love it? I did debate on this one whether or not to do five, and you certainly could do more, more embellishments there if you want. Um, let me show you my sample. Uh, my sample, I had the cute little dog, and I guess my cloud was a little higher because I got one under there. I kind of like that better, I think. But whether you have um, the pig or the cloud or the turtle or the dog, I, I think this card's going to turn out so cute. And I think all of them, you know what, the pig doesn't have, um, it doesn't have any, um, let's see, it doesn't have any mango melody. Um so there's, there's a little pink and no yellow. But again, if you wanted to, you could bring in another image like um, one of the umbrellas, you know, and add some of that color in there. 
Oh my goodness, aren't these cards the cutest? Let me bring them all out so you can see what all the cards look like together. Oh my goodness gracious. I love the way this card kit turned out. Again, if you ordered for me in January, 2023, you're gonna get the materials and all the things I showed you today to make these cards, including your back pocket card layout card. So you can start your new collection of card sketches and layouts. And if you didn't order from me, I hope these cards inspired you and that you'll give these layouts a try. I do have some other cards to share with you. I guess just three of them. So let me move these over. This one I did in a Sunday stamping video with mom. We did a diorama card. This was the video where Amy joined us. And so I'll add the link in the video description if you haven't seen it yet. Be sure to check it out um, to see what they created. Oh my gosh, so fun. And then this card swap is from Mary McNeely. I love the layout here and the way she used the, there's those green flowers from the piece I was telling you about. And she used some of the loose daisy embellishments on her card and this last one is from Betsy Kreider and she stamped the turtle and colored it and then also stamped some of the flowers. I love this layout with the circles and the clean white background with the raindrops. Oh my gosh rain or shine so much fun. I hope that you enjoyed the project ideas that I shared today. Now one thing I do want to remind you of we have a couple more days if you really love the look of rain or shine you should definitely subscribe to the February paper pumpkin kit inspired by the rain or shine suite you're going to get designer paper and colors and um, die cut images to make nine window cards three each of three different designs um, that all have the same sort of theme so if we zoom in a little bit here we've got a cute little frog and a cloud and a little umbrella all nine of the cards will have a peek through window and they all sort of have the same vibe as the rain or shine suite. So if you're, if you would like to subscribe uh, with me to Paper Pumpkin, you can sign up at tinyworld.com slash get paper pumpkin. And you want to do that by February 10th in order to reserve this kit. Um, and I cannot wait to see what these cards look like. I hope that you've been inspired today. If you enjoyed these project ideas, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future project, <laughs> future paper crafting videos. Thanks for tuning in tonight. I'm so sorry I couldn't be here with you live, but next Thursday, I think we're going to be good. No conflicts. Um, and so I will see you next Thursday. Um, that'll be what? Uh, February 9th at 7 15 PM live right here on YouTube. Thanks guys. Have a good night and I'll see you next time. Bye.